Hello everyone, I am Umang from the 2018 batch of Video System Engineering. I have graduated in March 2022 and basically I am making this videos for students who are in the first, second or third semester and also as a small update for people who want to know what job prospects you have after graduating. But uh, I think the title of the video will be something course of RSE or reality of RSE. And yeah, so before starting with anything, I just want to say that uh, my the, the saying which I believe in is that you play with the team which you are given or uh, you play with the cards you are dealt with. And uh, this video is not meant to be discouraging, but it is tending a bit towards negative. So what I would say is you have a fantastic, a fantastic opportunity at hand. So uh, close the video. <laughs> Uh, yes, you are enrolled in the course or you are planning to enroll, just come here, face the challenge, graduate, win the course, and your life. And now we will ask then why am I making this video? It's because I had a consultation with some of the friends and they told me it would have been better if they had known the reality before coming to this course and also regarding a few question, questions which people ask me on LinkedIn. And so I have just written down the bullet points and I apologize for the bad video scripting and I would be looking down a lot at the points which I have written but I just want to convey as uh, there are few people who have graduated from radio system engineering and there is a bit of misleading information online. Uh, so anyways, I when I wrote down this point, I uh, saw that there are some points which are meant as or which can be taken as advice or suggestion but I am not here to give any advice or suggestion in any form. This is just my opinion and I am just stating my opinion. So the reality is that there are one too many subjects and because there are too many subjects they are not detailed so I consider this course to be more like a bachelor's course and not a master's course. Let me give you a very simple example. So we have a wheel and we have a rail. So they are made up of different materials. So when we study something in the class, uh, uh, I think it's also uh, theory and numerical applications and there's a assumption that both are made of the same materials. So uh, similarly in many subjects, they are teaching a lot of topics, but they are not going into detail as I expected from a master's course. However, there I don't know if there is anyone from a railway background or yeah, train background in bachelors. So they, it's also necessary that you know all these points. However, I think not everyone needs to know each and everything. Anyway, so the the thing is that the the things which we learn are the way way too specific. That is, you might not need it, or most of us might not need it, or Things are very simple as much as you find on a Wikipedia page, literally on a Wikipedia page, but you wouldn't know what to search. And uh, there are many subjects which are compulsory. So now for us, it was much less. And for from the 2019 batch, I think there are a lot of subjects which are compulsory. And uh, so I'm it is that your desired line of working may be completely different and the subjects are completely, completely irrelevant. Uh, and uh, it's difficult to pass a master subject at RWTH. So you are, you are spending your time, your hours, energy for a subject which you would know that you might not, which you are definitely, you definitely know you might not need in the future and yet you are spending time for it. And they say that they need to make it compulsory. However, those people who are graduated and who are about to graduate and have been working as internship part of uh, VAC student, so VAC student is working student, uh, which is something new or, or as thesis, they know that this thing is not used by them at all. And uh, so it's compulsory. But I, on the other hand, I also believe that you can't teach every problem in the university. What you can teach is how to solve problem and what you learn in university college school is like 2, 4%, 5% or 10% what will be used 
and 90% is what you learn in the job however i do stand with my point that there are subjects and concepts which you know that are not going to be useful for you and yet you have to study them and uh, so uh, regarding the subjects also then there are subjects where so uh, let's say there's a subject where you're just studying the numerical application of something and you don't even know what the numerical application is what the theory is where you're going to use it since the exam focuses on numerical application and we look to pass the exams when they teach us to pass the exam so the focus sh- shifts on solving it and uh, i may know how to solve it but i don't know when i'm working where i'm using it or why i'm using it and since the exam i will come to the examination system maybe right now so the education system being one of the best the examination system in rwth is uh, one of the one of the worst systems or one of the bad system that i have seen and it is simply because you need to mug up the answers most of the courses related to your railway which are compulsory there you have like 60 marks 60 minutes 120 marks 120 minutes so basically you need one minute or yeah you need to solve something which is over for one mark for one minute where i come from then we usually had a hundred mark paper for three hours and then also it was very difficult to finish it and i won't discuss if anyone is able to finish it or not there might be some people who are exceptional or very intelligent or quick but what i have seen from my batch and the next batch is 90% of the people were not even able to complete 85% of the paper and you need to be very quick so you need to know the answers you need you won't be thinking in the exam you will just be writing down as quickly as possible of what you already know and that's why it's important you attend lectures go to classes practice it beforehand but still the emphasis on the exam lays on how quick you can write and how accurately you can write and uh, yeah uh, how, how you need to stick exactly to what what is required you you don't change things and i i was not happy with it or satisfied with it uh, anyway so the solution is go to classes um, and uh, try to learn from the start i mean in my batch class i i used to like study in the last few days and it worked and masters it did not work for me it may or may not work for you and uh, again so in exam also like what i feel is uh, as i said that you in work you learn in university you learn how to solve things and not what you solve this is what is actually useful to me right now and uh, i that's why i don't complain about exams it's a challenge that you have to pass it's it's as i said the cards you are given on the team you play with so this is a challenge and or this is a task for you and i want to answer a challenge and you have to see how you pass it it what i did is i managed and my advice would be to try to keep the score at least 2.5 if it's so in germany one is the highest four is lowest and five is what you feel so if it you try to keep it at least 2.5 even if it goes about 2.5 it doesn't matter that much when you it you won't get we there are different scholarships which you get and in your you know so the grade would be written very good but apart from that once you start a job the first getting the first job it may or your grades may or may not affect it but afterwards it's what is there is your work experience and what you know but it is still advisable or that you keep your grades below 2.5 what i did is as i said this was a task and i did not i did not focus that much on railway subjects i did not get good grades in them but there were other subjects which i got good grade and my overall grade was below 2.5 and yeah it helped me get scholarships and uh, i don't know I, like none of my the uh, work student or job interviews ask me if i have a what award grade do i have they focus on what i studied in this particular subjects but uh, yeah i just take it as a challenge and 
this this what i have written down is this thing is helpful in life so that's one subjects where you have to compulsory write down the units in each and every sentence so you write down 100 mm minus 80 mm minus uh, let's say plus 20 mm so in the next step if you write down uh, 20 mm plus 20 mm or just you write down 20 plus 20 and in the last line you write down 40 mm but in the middle line you did not write down the units that is millimeter 20 mm and they got a mark for it they uh, you are informed beforehand that it's, it's not that you are not informed beforehand but still they got marks for it and you might think that yeah i i know the answer i know how to solve it so i didn't get the marks but the point is that you were instructed to do it and let's say you you are working somewhere and some documents is very important and you might know what you what you have solved what you have written specified but the other person who is reading this document might not know these things and that's why it's necessary to be clear and specific and that's why it's necessary to write units so this is what uh, this is what helps you and therefore you the the set of rules have been given, defined the cards have been dealt to you and it's now depends on how you play with it and uh, what is there written yeah so the course they say it it german document says you finish it in four semesters i'm not saying it's impossible to finish it in four semesters no one has done it so far and why it is difficult is you have majority subjects in winter semester therefore that's a semester 1 or 3 and 2 or 4 depending on your 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 period of intake let's say if you are starting in winter so you might study a few subjects in this semester then a few in the second and then there are a lot there are at least 8 to 10 subjects which are there which are taught only in the winter semester so your third semester goes in studying the subjects and if you are able to pass all the subjects then you might go for a internship you might work under a professor your they say the thesis is 6 months but usually it takes much longer than that not officially but it takes longer than that so something which is designed to complete in 2 years usually takes much longer but uh, most of the companies know that in rwth people tend to take longer and know why but still if if you expect to finish it in 2 years then i would say it is very difficult i know a few friends who like if you want to do i don't So internship was compulsory for me. I think it is not compulsory for the next batch. I'm not sure, but I uh, know a few friends from the other course. They skipped the internship because they wanted to work as a PhD student. And so, the, so there are different courses in our degree which are also same many subjects, and so therefore not not possible to finish it in two years. So the other friends finish it in three years and they started with the PhD. Uh, but anyway, so overall the course uh, structure is bad with the prerequisite time required subjects and all but uh, you get opportunities you the the research facilities are amazing you you have a pc you uh, i don't know if it is allowed now so because it was covid we were allowed to have work from home when we were working on this or something and uh, you can literally study any subject you want so there are free electives uh, you go and you sit in this lecture or you register officially for the lecture you get the notes i know it, it, let's say in railway itself there are mechanical electronics and civil and i also know people who have gone into automotive section i know people who have gone into sustainability and all so you what you work in your thesis practic uh, internship practic which is german or is practicum this this will shape where you work and the field is open for you i know people who have gone from one field to completely different field and that's the opportunity and that's what i'm telling to look at even though it's difficult what you will get is a piece of paper which is valuable and at least in germany uh, even though you they look at companies look at your talent or skills but still 8 or 9 out of the 10 companies will require you to have a degree and if they have a degree they know that you they know that you know things as simple as that even though you may know things without a degree but it is really useful at least in germ at least in europe and what else have i written is it is yeah so you are, there are a lot of research assistants in rwth and you, you can some of the websites show what the institute or what one person is working on so you can just ask him that 
is there any work or do you have any task or do you have any thesis with you and uh, the, i mean it is difficult to pass the exams and if you if you just want to and this is for job job prospect and also for study prospect if you let's say i i would give mechanical examples because because easy for me but the similar apply to civil and electronics if you want to work as a cad engineer so you would design drawings the preference will be given to someone who has studied mechanical engineering or cad similarly if you want to do a finite element analysis so again the preference will be given for someone who has studied computer aided mechanical engineering and it won't be given to you even though you you might have done projects on it so not always but a general case scenario and the in other case let's say there's a really related job and you require a bit of cad and fem also but you also need the knowledge of railways so in this case a job preference will be given to you but it would be more of it would won't be com- complete technical fem or uh, cad drawing so in 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 those jobs a pref- so i since i'm working in a railway company i know people who just have finished mechanical engineers and they are working in finite element analysis of railway components and many other things and also drawing so they are given preference for these jobs and right now there is a demand for them but i think i don't know how many ba- people have graduated from the 2019 batch from our class i estimate it to be somewhere around 9 to 11 people and 3 4 soon in upcoming months and all of us who have graduated have jobs but with the number of intakes with the courses taking i don't know what the demand will be in the next 3 to 4 years for a radio engineer but regarding the job prospect i can say that it depends on what you are interested in and there are multiple fields you i had also got Uh, right now i am working as a suspension engineer for bogies and i also also got offer as a uh, what was it of Op- operational timetable uh, is berish uh, berish uh, i forgot it but something as a operational engineer and uh, these were two completely different parts so my other friends are working as fleet managers or um, uh, they are just working as a consultant in sustainability so there's a concept called interlocking of re- Uh, interlocking you will come across in one of the subjects i guess real vehicle one you will get it so there are different different fields and my friend from sustainability uh, from civil engineering right now they are working on a different project they are one has got an internship in sustainability and another has got in um, construction i don't know the details but there are multiple fields you can go from so if you come from a mechanical civil electronics background you can shift and move accordingly and this degree or a piece of paper will help out help you out a lot but this would be very difficult if you are just here for learning and knowledge then uh, it it's not that much because you after i don't know some period of time you will start focusing on passing the exams because you would want to pass it as soon as possible to be eligible for getting a job or, or get a job i mean you I, it it is a bit difficult to work part time with this course i mean i know a lot of people have done it and a lot of people are doing it but it extends the course a bit so you can study more subjects which you can do if you don't do part time and stuff but uh, if you if you if you work hard if you work hard i would say yeah, if you work the hours part time plus studying plus enjoying and relaxing i can still feel that this course could be done in somewhere around 3 years no again uh, there are people who would be possibly doing it in 2 years to years to few months i'm just telling on an average what i assume it to be and uh, yeah so again another thing you learn is how to pass the exam maybe you stayed in a hostel before maybe you stayed somewhere else but you you need to manage the things uh, on your own chaman bureaucracy and all and those things would help at least taught me skills which are essential for my job i would say it will be for most person but again and there are many extracurricular activities offered by wth 
many sports related activities more than 100 so minimal minimal cost of them and they are for 3 3 months and they also you can also level up in rwts there are many student bodies there are many any teams which make uh, formula style race cars solar power race cars something with the, something powered wheelchair robotics drones i i don't know a lot of them but you will have opportunities to go in these teams to interact with people and the, i would say take your take your chances make use of these opportunities you won't be getting them when you have started working full time job after your passion you you can remove time for it because uh, the lectures they are 1.1 and a half hour and if you study it's six subjects then you mostly have two lectures per week which makes it around 15 20 hours of study uh, of lectures and then you study a bit on your own but then you would have free time and uh, it it was a good experience for me as i said i uh, i and okay again okay, one one more topic is thesis so it depends what you are interested in, in but if you do it in a company uh, you work on real life problem i did it in uh, an institute because i really liked the topic Uh, it it was something which was related to real life. We were producing a bogey made out of composite material, but uh, I would still say if uh, what helps in industry again this might be wrong, and I'm just stating my assumption that if you have worked on uh, something practical rather than working on research research related thesis or the, some thesis in which you just do research and. no work no not works so like no calculation or yeah no calculation or how can I, so calculation includes everything simulation cad determining routes time tabling so if you have not done anything actual and just done research uh, it there are some jobs which it might be useful for, for but for most jobs it won't be that useful i would say it really depends on what you want to do and some other points Great, I was fine. Okay, nothing. Um, yeah, language is important. Uh, language will bring you a lot of opportunities. It helped me in getting a vet student, in getting part time, in getting this full time job. Even though it is in your work, maybe in English, but uh, it will be required by at least eight out of ten people getting a job. Something else. Yeah, talk to people who have passed and. Ah, uh, you can talk to me, but more, who have passed more recently because the rules, exam rules, subject, and they keep on changing. So you will find these people on LinkedIn, in the class, anywhere else, and talk to them. Avoid silly questions. I would say that I mean there are no wrong questions, but uh, he, he or she might not know everything, and no personal questions are concerned. I would say. And, there are things available on the website which you can find easily what is the requirement of this course what german level you need if you need ielts or not these things are easily available on the net so i would say first look it up yourself if you don't just write a mail to the university they would always reply to you and uh, and i would say good luck and hopefully i get to see a lot of rs engineers but again i have explained and just to summarize that the course the subjects they are not that much in detail there are compulsory subjects which uh, might not be useful the exam is very difficult and you will need to focus a lot for studying uh, time energy everything will be needed to pass the exam sometimes it will get frustrating when you don't pass this subjects and it will keep on taking longer depending on the time and the job market getting an internship or maybe is your hard what usually is the trend is getting a first internship or a job is hard but uh, after it becomes much much easier gain experience there are many extracurricular activities as well you can follow your own uh, passions or side ho- hobbies or anything and study well in contact attend lectures be in contact with research assistants even if you don't study everything during the lectures go online there are websites there are youtube channels although not that much in detail 
with the research papers and you will get you'll get a chance to learn in depth if not in class at least for yourself anyways it's a really long video and good luck